Hey guys, Lawrence Aponte here, and I just wanted to shoot this quick video for you guys so I can show you how easily it is you can add UTM parameters to your ad sets. That way you can track your sales, where they're coming from in Google Analytics with accuracy. Okay, so um, from your Facebook Ads Manager back office, um, we'll come here, we'll just select a random one, we'll choose conversions, hit continue. So once you come to your, um, your ad set level, um, everybody likes to name their ad set differently. Um, so I'll just show you guys how I would do it personally. So let's just assume that we wanted to target women that were um, 25 um, to, six, to 65 that lived in the United States, spoke English, and um, were interested in wine. Okay, really simple targeting there. So what I would do is here, I would just erase this because I like to do my own type, my own title here. And I would do, um, this would be 2565W, and then I put a hyphen, and then I put the, the target name that I was targeting along with another hyphen, okay? And then I then after this, I would put my UR, excuse me, my UTL parameter that I would use. So my UTM parameters for me always correspond with the type of ad I'm running and the number of the ad that I'm running. So for instance, this one would, would be the website conversion, and then it would be dependent on the event, which I would choose. So for the example, we'll just choose add to cart, which would be ATC, okay? And then this um, particular ad is our very first one, so I would put the number one, okay? Just like that. So that would be my UTM parameter. So I'll show you how this is gonna correlate. So we would copy this, and once we would select all of that, we would just come here next and we go to the, the ads. Okay. Once we come to the ad, you would either create a new ad here or use an existing post. And once you don't do that, then you would come all the way down to this little spot here where it says URL parameters. It says optional. Okay. So you can actually come here to this section and you can write UTM. Okay. And then put equals and then now we're going to paste exactly what we just copied right so we'll do wc atc1 which is website conversion add to cart one meaning the first ad okay so once we would do that we would simply hit place order oh i don't have the payment field in here so it won't let me place it so once once you actually place this then now that's label okay so i'm going to show you guys what it would look like in your google analytics once sales start coming in and um the utm tracking is in place okay so here is a screenshot from um one of my google analytics accounts and i've come here to a section if you look on my left hand side it's called conversions okay then you come to e-commerce then you select product performance Okay, so once you come to product performance, you're going to have a list of all these products here on the left hand side, which you can see I've blurred out for my privacy. I don't want to give out my products that I'm selling. But here after that, you can actually select there's an option right above here that says um, second uh, secondary dimensions. If you select that and you put in landing page, you'll get your UTM parameters that you can see that you may have set up. So for this first one, you can see it says UTM equals LIPPUR. So that's just a parameter that I use for my ad set. Then you can see attributed to that was 217 sales. Okay, then you can come to the next one um, and you can see 174 sales and, and so on and so forth. So if you go all the way down the line, I can see where the sales are coming from attributed to these ad sets. So that's why UTM parameters are very important to add and you can see all of this stuff in your Google Analytics when Facebook isn't always 100% accurate, okay? I've had times where Facebook is literally just showing just 65, 70% of my sales, and you really don't know which ones to scale, which ones to turn off, and it can be very, very confusing. So by adding these little UTM parameters very easily, you can see where the sales are coming in. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you do me a favor and just like and comment below, and also subscribe to the channel. Peace out, Lawrence Aponte here.